Hello there. So in this video, I want to cover control net and stable diffusion and primarily how we can make animations by utilizing this new extension. If you're not familiar with control net, I will let you know what it is. As well, if you are interested to install it, I will provide a link below to the great video created by eAppreneurs about how to create how to install control net on your local stable diffusion. You can also run on a collab Google collab if you need it. Okay, we can done AI animations for some time. So from a long time, we can use it actually as a text string. And we can specify all animation what we wanted and create these animations um, in AI. The problem is with creating these animations, we have some limitations. For example, it's okay to create panoramic to move the cameras and other stuff. We can specify to some degree what we want to see. But if we want to create like a, with a person something to do, then um, we cannot really control any motions of this. So in that case, what's happening, we went and we can use it now GIF to GIF. So and I have a video again, link will provide for this if you're interested in how you can create it by using GIF animations and applied style to create it your own AI GIF animations. And this is actually great. I, not bad how it's working. For example, his GIF and this is when we apply stylizations by AI, but it's have it some limitation to this and primary limitation because if we apply too much style to this, we come up to this kind of nonsense. Even we have most uh, strings, we are defined, we use negative prompts, all that stuff. The problem is when you have a too high denoise or other thing, it's come up to the a little bit problem and you can see the motion even as try to catch motions but does not work very well and in this case control net help extension help us a lot because it's have a different approach here's an example on the stylization with control net and you can see how much it's cleaner produce and okay there you go let open this one again there you go right here and you can see how much cleaner this animation is happening and how it is um, better defined motions based on our input video. And this motion this is going from same um, GIF file created. We can also use the video. Beside that, GIF to GIF have it additional limitations beside how they're going with stylizations. It's limited on a size, limited on resolution and some other elements. With using the control net, we can actually have it no limits on how long our video can be. So let me show you how we can actually do this. First, you need to be sure you install control net on your local installation, stable diffusion or in a collab. And I will provide link below how I said before to the video, you can watch from Apreneurs how to do this. After you install it, I highly recommend for you to go and verify that you have the latest update. And you can do if you go to your um, stable diffusion, go to extensions. And by the way, I'm running on automatic 1111 installations. So and right here in extensions, you can see we have it our web um, UI control net is installed. Be sure just check for the updates because I noticed the updating quite, quite a bit often. And you just want to be sure you have the latest version of this installed. So after this, we can go to um, image to image. At this point, if you scroll down, you'll notice right there you have a control net ability to kind of use it. So what does control net have? If we're going and we'll put it just some image inside and just let's go type um one girl on flower on the field of flowers maybe you or my english is not so great in this case so one girl on the flower field let's go just render and see what's happening it, this is a basic and it's image to image and we have it our image generated somewhat color based of course we at this point we want to go and put it properly scale and we want properly scale for a couple reasons because um control net will kind of require this as well okay so let's set this render notice what's happening i'm going with the noise string 75 which is quite a bit high 
And if we're using 7.5 with a GIF to GIF, it's, I mean, its model will be, pause will be gone all the way. And we'll just leave it as default. So I'm just leaving as default here. Okay, maybe the noise maybe drop a little bit lower, but I think it's okay. Steps 20 should be okay. So this is what we usually done, but not a center pause. It's a little bit different. It does not look like. Okay, so let's go ahead down and now we enable control net. So we need to go click expand it. Notice right here, it's not enabled. Let's click and says enable. We want to be sure our size and matching. So we'll take our size from width here and it's 512 and I'm just putting with here so that matching our things what is for our important next step it is create uh, select preprocessor and the model that we want to use it they actually have it quite a bit nice models and i will look on them in another video so we'll go over and see where and what model you want to use it for this purpose right now open pose it's work very well open hand will have it also the define on the hand that will show later but let's go open pose for the preprocessor and we want to use it the open pause model so it's two things we want to select next let's just even with these selections what's going on and guidance strings you notice right here we just put it on maximum one we'll just leave it there as a default by the way if your guardian string showing up to two it's you probably an older version you probably want to update this so now let's go ahead and click generate First time when you click generate, what's happening, you'll notice right here, it's preloading model in my server. So it may take a little bit time to do this. But after first time, it should be fine and going. And notice what's happening. We have a precise pause. Look on this position of the hands, position of the head, everything. But it is applied in an environment that we specify. And this is very basic. This is raw, not in a twinkle because I did not specify like dress or whatever we can have it in a um, dress for example soft lighting so you, you can create all this other additional option to specify right now it's simplicity the one thing keep it in mind because it is very simple I don't specify any lot of details deviations may happen as well from this point but let's look right now what's happening on the back and you notice it's create second image and this is second image is representing the pause notice where is the bone system selected with position of the head position of the eyes and position of the body legs everything this is what we needed because the other ones when we have a gif to gif this is where we have that problem where is have a disconnect happening um an overlay so now we define what model we wanted. Now, how do we process? Because we don't want drag and drop each image for this. We're using the batch processing system. This has allowed us to take each single frames and use it. To get single frames, you have a couple options. If you want to from GIF to GIF, you can go to like easygif.com, upload it file there and extract frames directly from there. If you work from video or any other applications, you're probably utilizing some um, video editor and most of them will have a frame output so you just need it save them as individual frames and when you save them as individual frames like right here you can go ahead and put them in the same directory so they kind of located in one place um, copy the place of your of locations next if we're going inside the our batch area we can go in input directory and paste here the our frames where we want to put them uh read from okay so we kind of said but it's not yet there the one other things what i found out it's kind of helpful if we're going to again back to image to image we're going back to our frames let's select one single frame put it in okay because we need actually set properly um with hive for this frame so we'll go ahead adjust this what we need it like right there i think okay let's go ahead and copy this one okay from our frame and we're going to put it in our width and height so that is set the next step what do we want to do we want to define at this point we want to define what style we want to create so for example if i leave it same style and i click generate it will produce for me 
the image that I look. I can say, okay, do I like how it's look or not? Or I can go ahead and create different batch, for example, six images. Let's go generate them right now. Okay, and if we look, I can select different style. The style this time, uh, sorry, not style, mostly how this look. You can see the all different variations. So I can go and check which variation I like it. So for example, if I say, you know what, I think I like this variation. Then important things for us to go down and as I see the click on this recycle kind of icon so we can take the seed of the image we like it and put it and this is actually important for us because if we don't have a seed and we'll start processing batch they will be deviate from each to another one quite a bit so we want to be sure we're using a same seed at this point um you know what and just so we don't have it too much from pauses we can go down to maybe five you know like right there but you can leave it six five it's fine Okay, so at this point, we're ready. We set our width, height. We set um, our string, what we wanted. Again, this is very raw string, so just uh, it will have some problems, I guarantee you, because we need to define a little bit better, like what background we wanted, what color, what dress, and so on. So, But that is will work for now is okay. Um, we define this, the noise strings, uh, how close it's to our string so we define that stuff seed we define this again we define same with canvas width and height inside the, our control net control net is enabled and we want guidance string one so it's a, the bigger guidance the more closer it will be to positions of the bones it will create it i think we're ready at this time going to our batch selecting way we need it we don't worry about at this time about our ceiling sampling model you can switch to different for example um karma m yeah let's go with maybe dpm Dif it's depend which one sampling you like it doesn't matter this time Euler actually will process quite a bit faster so we'll just leave it that one as here don't worry about just your face or any other settings but this time it's when you preset what you like it and the reason is why i say you want to set this when image to image you want to set them here those properties so when you gone to the batch they're already set they're ready to go all your experimental done and let's switch our batch to one so i don't want to process so many of them and when we're done with this we just click on generate and right here what's happening you can see it will take it each image from that directory that we have right here each frame and as a batch processing it start processing them start creating and let's go ahead and see our output directory and you can see from this point right here it's where I actually start to generate okay oh, let me close this one right there look what's done it actually creating notice as background i'll try to create a similarity it's what we have before again it's a raw prompt so i don't expect too much in this case but you can notice from frame to frame because using same seed it's look very similar and creating similar way animation this is um in a way how i create that animation i think it's will um, interesting way to do it it's definitely needed more tweak around with the prompts and play before you have it like wow effect it, but even at this moment the animations that everything is matching is a um, very very nice start point okay so after it's done you will end up with bunch of frames at this point you want to use it applications that you like it for example and it's just Camtasia you can use any other just import those frames inside the applications and you can assemble and and use them here the one actually big plus what I like it to create this way per frame because you can go to any specific frame and like right here you can notice how this frame is just turned upside down instead see forward and backward you can take this specific frame and re render as individual without a batch so it's meaning you can take this image put it right here with all your settings and from this point you can even create different batch count and just generate that single frame that you think it's need to be to fix it how say it's a better way to do with the framing in this way and after you just take them assemble in the video so this is 
um, from my experiment, I find it's worked very well to create some animations. Uh, to the point, I feel comfortable now work on some more interesting project that probably coming out uh, soon with the AI animations and frames. Um, in the next video, we're going to look on some of these um, models, preprocessors and models. It's what they're good for, what kind of use it, because, for example, depth map is very impressive and it's great to use it for the photographers. I'll show you how and where you can use them as well. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share this video. Please help my channel grow. I greatly appreciate all your support and have a great day to create your work.